All right, what's going on everyone? My name is Cameron. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a little bit, but we're back with some more uh, with some more towery tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to create a custom title bar. So um, so getting rid of uh, the title bar that kind of looks uh, something actually even in this case this is a custom title bar, but um, on a traditional Mac application. Uh, you would have you would have uh, you would have a normal title bar uh, I'll show you what that looks like let's do um, let's do let's do run uh, let's run this and we will see uh, we'll actually see what that title bar looks like. Okay, so now that the application is running, as you can see, we have this kind of base title bar here. This is what we're referring to as the title bar. Um, what we're going to be doing is, is we are going to be replacing this. So, um, what I currently have is just a base Towery React template. So you can see I have my my React uh, my React code here. Um, nothing has been changed about this. If you haven't seen or if you are not sure how to uh, to get one of these projects started, I definitely recommend going and checking out one of my previous videos. I'll link that in the card above. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we have going right now. So what I would, what where we're going to start is is we're going to actually turn decorations off. So you'll see I have uh, using VS Code I have the Towery, uh, the Towery plugin, and so it's actually picking up on what this should be. Uh, and now that I've done that, you can see that I have done away with the decorations, or in this case, the title bar. So the next little piece that we will need to do is we will need to go ahead and create a new title bar. And I'm not going to make this a long drawn out thing. I'm actually probably going to speed through this part and then we'll step through the code. So now that we've done that, now now that we've done all of our kind of styling code, uh, let's kind of step through what I did. So I actually cleared out some of the uh, some of the towery styles just because I didn't feel like dealing with uh, all <laughs> dealing with sifting through uh, what already existed for just the sake of this tutorial. Um, you might want to use those, you might not, um, but just to kind of step through what I did. Um, this is kind of some boilerplate that I normally do for like all of my applications. Uh, just basically setting up some base styling, taking away any sort of styles that um, are browser specific. Um, so if you decided to port this over to, you know, over to the web or something, all of this is going to be, uh, you're starting fresh, basically. Uh, giving all of these a width and a height of 100%. And then uh, the big thing here is I'm setting the position relative for the uh, the position to relative for the body, so that our custom title bar component um, that we are trying to set as fixed, in this case it is fixed to the top. So if I scroll anywhere here on the page, um, then I will then I will uh, it, it'll stay here. I won't have to worry about it going anywhere else and then me losing track of it elsewhere. Right. Um, so yeah, so that, that being said, I created a custom title bar component that has a, um, uh, 
uh, it's very simple, right? So it has a global wrapper um, that is set up to fix, uh, fix it to the top. Um, something that you don't really have to worry about, but I did was I, I created a, um, I created a grouping for my title bar buttons um, so that if I want to put something over here on this end, I can and I can use space between uh, with Flexbox in order to put stuff down here, uh, similar to what we have here, uh, right? So I have, we, they have controls, they have the title of the window, and then there are some more controls down here for other specific uh, application things. Uh, so we could theoretically do that here, uh, but we're not going to for the sake of this tutorial. Um, so, so yeah, so that, that's been done. I, I have also added some SVGs from Font Awesome. I removed uh, the disclaimer or the, uh, the bit of the SVG that has that, but these are Font Awesome icons. Um, just using those to identify what these are. So this is close, this will be closed, this will be maximized, and this will be minimized. Um, this is kind of like a backwards orientation for Mac being, this is kind of like Windows, uh, Windows icons, but that being said, tutorial. Okay, so that's kind of a, a wrap on what we have built thus far. Uh, we have these buttons, right? They're styled so that they're over here. Uh, but now we need to make them work. So what we're going to be interacting with is we're going to be interacting with the app window from at Towery API slash window. Um, so what, what this will do is this is going to give us access to the close, the close method, the maximize method, the, uh, the minimize method, uh, all of those. So now that we have this, we can theoretically just do at click, uh, give this a callback of app window dot close, right? And if I try to do that now, does it work? It doesn't work. Well, let's check and see why. Uh, it says unhandled promise exception window closed not in allow list. So if you've watched my previous videos, you remember that we have an allow list, uh, which basically uh, grants us permission to native uh, to native functionality. Uh, this is one of the great things, one of the great security benefits of Tower is we actually have to whitelist what we want to be able to do. So previously we had this shell operation that we were using. Um, we don't need that for what we're going to be doing in this video. All we need is window. And in this case, now we want to grant close and we want to tr change that to true. Now I should mention, I think you can, or I, I believe you can do uh, just true here, I think. Uh, incorrect. Uh, it, actually, I guess you can't. I know in the past you were able to do that and that's actually really good. It ke keeps you from like doing just a global catch-all. Uh, and maybe you can for others, maybe that's allowed, but uh, it doesn't seem to be for this. So that's really good. I, I actually much prefer that, uh, much safer. So we're gonna we're gonna wait for uh, we're gonna wait for this to start back up because we edited that option. We uh, we have to wait for the entire and the entire Tower app to to re restart. Um, but now that it's done that, there you go. We can actually close the application. So now we need to do the same thing for all of the other functionalities that we want to have. So in this case, let's go ahead and we're gonna do maximize as true. Uh, we're gonna do minimize as true. We're gonna do unminimize as true. And we're gonna we're gonna stick with those for now. But let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, move forward with that. So let's start let's start up Towery. So it seems as though I did miss one uh, one configuration, which is the unmaximize. Uh, you will want that in order to be able to call the toggle maximize function. So now if I click maximize, you'll notice it performs as you would expect uh, whenever you unmaximize it. Uh, so the next thing that we want to do, do is check the minimize. And you can see we are able to 
minimize and unminimize just as we would think we would be able to. The other thing that I want to mention uh, in this video is the ability to uh, actually make your application full screen. So I want to go ahead and there is one more here. We'll need to update. This doesn't work uh, with maximize and unmaximize. This is its own thing. Um, and that is set full, uh, set full screen. So set full screen, full screen mode is going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more complicated, uh, not by a large margin, but a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is, is we're actually going to, instead of using, uh, maximize and unmaximize here, we are actually going to use a different function. Uh, we're going to say set full screen and here we have to pass a Boolean. So now if I click the maximize button, you'll notice it maximizes our application. But unfortunately with this, it doesn't work the way that we would anticipate, right? Um, what we need to do is, is we actually need to be able to update, uh, update the state or have state that keeps track of whether we are in full screen or not. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, I'm going to show you this and then you can translate this into the framework of your choice, but we're going to be doing, doing this in a React application. So here we go. So here, if you're not familiar with React, I'm actually uh, saying I want a piece of state that is going to be a Boolean and start as false. Uh, I want that to be stored in is full screen and then give me a function to actually update this variable called set full screen. Next, I'm going to go ahead and have a callback function. So we are going to say, we are going to say here, set full screen to not is full screen. Now React is a little weird. I actually have to create a an effect here. Uh, other frameworks likely won't require you to do this. You'll just update the variable and then uh, and then and then toggle uh, like what you're about to see me do. But I'm going to say basically do this anytime is uh, this dependency updates. So any run this piece of this callback function here anytime this dependency updates. I'm going to say um, app window dot set full screen to is full screen. There we go. So now we're starting as false. Our application isn't full screen. I maximize it and I'm able to bring it back out of full screen. So um, there are other things that we could do with this, this title bar. We'll take a look at that in, uh, we're gonna take a look at how to actually make this window draggable, how uh, I, I would like to go ahead and make another video about basically creating this where we have um, some functionality, uh, some extra functionality and styling maybe um, in the future as well as the big thing, which is making this draggable and um, keeping track of extra things. So in this case, like you'll notice we have, we've maximized this. Um, maybe we want to uh, have this kind of retract. Um, maybe we want to have this retract or something or only show, uh, only show when the application isn't maximized or something. Um, we could technically do uh, if is full screen, then return null. And that will likely be the easiest way to do that. Um, but it's still, <laughs> it's still going to give us some sort of, uh, some, some headaches. So that's something that we will have to we would we'll have to adventure into in a later video, likely when we add the drag ability of the window. 
But, uh, but I think that that's going to conclude this video, which is just the basic commands, basic uh, setup of a title bar. And uh, if there's anything that you, you have questions about, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys, love uh, trying to answer as many questions that you have as I can. Um, yeah, and if, uh, if there's any way that I can help, feel free. Uh, the code for this will be on GitHub. You'll, you can find that down in the, uh, in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.